Today I'm going to show you four easy ways to rig a Cinco or stick style bait that'll absolutely catch fish. Now stick baits may not look like very much and they don't do a whole lot in the water but they catch fish from winter time all the way through summer. And it's that subtle action that drives those finicky bass wild. The first way we're gonna look at is the Texas rig. The Texas rigs are great for fishing around cover because the hook is buried into the worm and you can put it through docks and brush piles, grass, a lot of places where bass like to live. So let's get into how to rig that Texas rig up with these stick baits. And what you're gonna need for this is a bullet weight an offset worm hook, and that's about it. So let's get into how to rig this worm up on this setup. Start with the bullet weight first. I prefer to use anywhere from a quarter to a three eighths most of the time. Sometimes I'll go all the way up to a three quarters if I'm fishing really deep water. But if you're fishing anywhere from five to 10 feet of water, a quarter to a three eighths will usually get the job done. And this is a lead style bullet weight right here. You can also use tungsten weights as well. Start by threading the bullet weight onto the line. I prefer to use fluorocarbon line because when the worm is sitting there on, on the bottom, those fish can't see fluorocarbon as well as they can monofilament and braided line. Next, take your worm hook. I like to use a four or five aught offset worm hook for most size worms and I'll use a uni knot to tie that on. Now once you've tied your knot, you're ready to put your worm on. Take the hook point and slide it into the first part of the worm. Once you get in about a quarter inch, you want to take the hook point and push it out of the worm and then pull the hook through. Now when you get to the hook shank, you want to go ahead and rotate it so your knot is just inside of the worm itself. And then you wanna push the worm up just a little bit and then slide the hook point into the meat of the worm. The ultimate goal is to make sure that that worm is straight when you're done rigging the hook inside of it. Now your Texas rig setup on the stick bait is complete. What kind of gear do you want to throw this on? I like to throw a medium heavy action rod. That's going to allow you to set that hook through the plastic of the worm and into the fish's mouth effectively. High speed gear ratio reels are also helpful because when a fish grabs that worm and starts to come at you, you can always catch up to them. And I like to fish my worms on 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon line or use braid like a 50 pound like I have here and use a leader. Uh, either 20 or 15, depending on the clarity of your water. And that's it. You're good to go with the Texas rig. Now for the shaky head setup. Shaky head setups are excellent for creating a stand-up action on the bottom. And I prefer to use a football shaky head most of the time. It'll sit right on the bottom and make the tail of that worm stand straight up. So all you're gonna need for this is your favorite shaky head and then a stick style bait. When I'm throwing a shaky head on a stick style bait, I usually like to throw a little bit thinner profile bait, similar to a finesse worm. But if you're throwing really big shaky heads, you can throw big stick baits on there as well. But most lakes, a more thinner profile will create a, a little better action on that shaky head style. Tie your shaky head on. I prefer to use a uni knot anytime I'm using fluorocarbon. This particular shaky head I'm using has a hook keeper at the front of it. All I wanna do is take the hook point, go straight through the top of the nose of the stick bait, push it all the way up past the hook keeper. That'll keep that worm on the head of the bait. You wanna rotate it 180 degrees. and then push that hook point up into the meat of the worm. Crimp the worm up just a little bit to make the worm straight when you push the hook point all the way in. And there you have it. That stick bait is straight on there 
And when this bait is sitting on the bottom and you're just bumping it with that football head, the end of that bait is going to stand straight up and really have a good presentation on those bass. That's better than a typical Texas rig. Now a rig that's caught more bass than anyone could ever count, the wacky rig. These stick baits are excellent on wacky rigs. They have a completely different action than the Texas style and other riggings, and it's very simple to do. All you're gonna need for this rig is simply a hook. And the hook I prefer to use is a uh, finesse style hook, a wide gap finesse style hook. You can use one that has a weed guard if you're fishing around cover, or if you're fishing in more open water, you can fish one that doesn't have a weed guard. But it doesn't require much effort to set the hook. It's very easy to throw, and we're gonna rig this up right now. So simply take your line, thread it through. You can use any knot that you're comfortable with, but I like to use a uni knot because I feel like it holds a lot of the line's strength. The wacky rig is unique because instead of going through the head of the worm, you're going right through the middle of the worm. So first of all, check out the size of the worm. Make sure you're getting it exactly in the center to get a nice balanced action. Take the hook and thread it all the way through the middle of the worm. Now if you're using a finesse hook with a weed guard, all you need to do is attach the weed guard on and you're ready to fish it around cover. If you're fishing open water with, without a weed guard, all you gotta do is toss it out there and catch some fish. Now when this bait is in the water, it has a, a really natural action, like a caterpillar following in the water or a worm out of a tree. Um, it has a, a swimming type action when you, when you move the rod uh, that looks like the, the worm is trying to, to swim through the water. But the best thing about a wacky rig is when you just let it sink slowly, it has a unique action. Both ends of the worm will start to shimmy and shake, and it really creates a natural slow fall that any suspended bass is gonna come over there and grab. So this is one of the ultimate ways that you can rig one of these stick baits to catch finicky fish. Now a little bit more complicated way to rig one of these stick baits is on a drop shot. It takes a few more steps but it's a really effective approach and it's really a finesse style tactic that's amazing in clear water or anywhere you have finicky bass. All you're gonna need for this is going to be a finesse style hook, a drop shot weight, and your favorite style stick bait worm. Now I'm gonna use a little bit smaller worm when I'm drop shotting rather than the, the bigger Cinco style baits just because of the, the finesse style tactic and I'm gonna use a little bit lighter line than I normally would. The other thing that's different is spinning gear. Spinning gear is a really easy way to fish these drop shots, and then you'll just find it a lot easier to throw it on a, on a spinning setup. The first thing you wanna do is take your line and tie a knot onto the finesse hook. And you want to leave a long tag end so we can have some room between the weight and the hook of itself. We're going to be using a Palomar knot on this particular rig. And you want to leave about 8 to 12 inches of tag in line on the hook. Tie your Palomar knot around the hook. The most important step right here is to then take the tag end, the very end of your line, and bring it back through the eye of the hook from the hook point side downward. That will create a stand up effect on that hook that ultimately makes that worm stand up in a upright position and really gives it more action in the water. Once you've tied your hook on and you've threaded your tag in back through, you simply take your drop shot weight and you put it onto the end of the line. Drop shot weights are designed to break away if you get stuck or snagged into cover. So all you simply have to do is put the tag in through and pinch it onto the line. You may lose a few weights, but ultimately it saves you time when having to re-rig the whole entire setup. Once you have your hook and your weight tied on, simply take the nose of your, of your stick bait and put the hook point directly through the nose of the stick bait. 
Now, when that drop shot's in the water, it's gonna have a great stand-up action. The key to fishing this is don't hop the weight off the bottom. Just let that weight sit on the bottom, let the worm slowly sink, and then light little twitches of the rod tip will really have a big effect on those finicky fish. So those are four great ways you can rig a stick bait to go out there and catch bass in a lot of different situations. If you want more tips on how to rig baits, subscribe to the Mystery Tackle Box channel. If you want to check out more from Mystery Tackle Box, go to mysterytacklebox.com.